Yes, welcome back here. Yeah, so we are on the first thing we are going to be learning on how to maintain a relationship and, ma and marriage, right? And the first thing we are talking about is communication. Communication. See, everything regarding relationship and everything regarding marriage rests on one thing, communication. See, if it's not um, your love rests on communication, and everything that has to do with love understanding rest on communication so if you guys are not talking or you guys are talking but you are not talking properly and you are not talking well then the relationship will not work the marriage will not work so the first thing you have to do is to ensure that the communication in your relationship the communication in your marriage is superb it's awesome someone said several years ago i heard this several years ago maybe i was in 100 level or 200 level there about so that's several years ago we are talking of almost about um 15 years there about yes someone said um that communication is a, a, a um, communication is a lubricant in the wheel of every relationship so let's look at um a cat, you may not necessarily understand start a cat. Okay, let's look at things like wheelbarrow. You may not follow your wheelbarrow. Okay, a car, right? <laughs> and every other thing that we have to grease so that it, it goes smoothly, right? The way we put oil into our engine, the way we put oil into our generator, right? The way we put oil in our automobile, engine oil, to ensure that there's no friction, right? So that it's everything moves smoothly that is how communication is in your relationship in your marriage so it's not about talking now you have to talk properly because you can put bad oil in your engine and you just <laughs> make things worse you just make things terrible Com so in, in communication remember that in communication we are told that communication is all about uh, encoding decoding and what respond right so communication has to be the fact that you say it's simple you you keep it simple and short you explain it clearly to your partner your partner can understand what you are saying you are not making assumptions you are not le leaving things unsaid you are talking things clearly you are expressing yourself clearly thank god for women they don't have to do this a lot they read a lot of novels they read a lot of um magazines and news magazines not newspaper the magazines and they see a lot of movies than the average guy so the the their vocabulary is far far better like my grammar is terrible but for women it's easy because it gets to read things that better their vocabulary that better their grammar every time i think every one of us should learn how to express and learn how to say things in the best way possible not just to just say them but to say them with love and to say that with um in a way that our partner can understand so if you're in a relationship right now the minimum is that you should talk with your partner at least once a day it is my own suggestion that you talk with your partner at least 30 minutes in a day in fact when i taught this on um, romance cafe several years ago i i told them that you should talk to your partner at least three times a day in the morning send a message or a test in the afternoon and concludes the day talking with each other see we just have to talk the people who are your best friends are your best friends because they are the people you talk to the most the person you talk to the most the person you talk with the most will become the best person to you will become your best friend right because every relationship is hinged on communication so that's it are you talking right there in, in in your in your relationship in your marriage do you create time to just specifically gist yes right my wife always tell me you are my number one official gist partner so whether you want to talk or you don't want to talk we have to stay and be gisting i will tell you all the things that happened today and this is <laughs> yours sincerely that may have gone to court and i may have also attended to some counselors by the time i get back home i usually tired and i still have to attend to a con and i have to attend to my um to my sons Okay, the other one is a baby, so Akon will definitely catch my attention more because he, he, he wants to play, he wants to do My heart and my soul and then, I... see, it, can, it can really be very draining after that there and why people say let us just and the rest Okay, we'll come there, we'll come there We'll come there in one of these series, right? <laughs> so you definitely understand what is it that I'm talking about But see, you want to maintain your relationship? You must talk every day with your spouse at least 30 minutes at least there should be this 30 minutes that we are just gisting that is 
30 minutes is too small out of 24 hours in a day. Like, let's make it one hour that you guys just gisted. You talk about your day, I talk about my day. I think what I will do is that I will share in the comment section. Yes, if you check the description, you will see a link to a particular article I wrote on this on how to talk for long with your partner. So you know how to just do this gist and it will help you. Thank you so much for watching this. Do not forget that this is just a part two out of the series of how to maintain your marriage, how to maintain your relationship. There are many other things I'm going to be teaching, many other amazing things. So, I recommend that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you will not miss any um, is it partner, any episode, any edition of this particular series. My name is Ella and I'm alright. Thank you so much for watching. You rock.